Hey everybody, it's me, Zach. Somewhere in that blanket is Potato. And welcome back to our channel. Hey everybody, it's me, Zach, and welcome back to my channel. I just want to start off by saying thank you to everybody who is so kind and concerned and offered very thoughtful responses to my video talking about some of the pain that I've been feeling for the past couple of weeks where I talked about like my adventures to doctor's appointments and CT scans and things like that. It really means a lot that all of y'all are so supportive and I really appreciate it. Uh, so thank you uh, for that, for that love that y'all gave me. I actually last night had probably the best sleep I've had in the past two weeks, although I do think I woke up like once. But I have had really good sleep last night and I have a lot of energy today or at least a lot compared to what I've had in recent history. And so I wanted to take some time and utilize this energy that I have right now to make some content just in case I don't have the same level of energy later. You know what I'm saying? So today we got two topics to talk about. We're gonna briefly talk about Amber Lynn and her Q&As and her recent Instagram stories. And we're also going to talk about Jamie French, who's a very popular YouTuber, apparently Facebooker, TikToker, whoever, whatever. She's a content creator, okay? And she she recently came out with a post on Facebook about Amberlynn Reed, which has got some people talking. So I'll make sure to leave some timestamps so you can go to whichever parts of this video you want to hear about in terms of those two things in case you only want to hear about one or the other. But of course, feel free to watch the entire video in all its glory if you're interested in whatever I'm talking about today. And also, I first want to say thank you to today's sponsor. Today's video is sponsored by Lily's Garden. Lily's Garden is a match to puzzle game that has over 10,000 unique levels for you to play and relax to on your mobile device. It's free to download and play on iOS and Android devices. If you're like me, you love to put on like a YouTube video, maybe one of my videos, and sit there and do something while you relax and try to get some rest after a long day. And Lily's Garden is a really unique game that can help you do that. Because on top of the fun puzzles that you do throughout it, you also are working through a story where you play as Lily who is renovating her great aunt's garden. So in addition to completing puzzles that'll help you get stars, to help design and renovate the gardens in the game. You'll also get to go through a whole story with twists and turns that include secrets about her great aunt and her great aunt's property, and also a love story <laughs> with her great aunt's neighbor. Like I said, I've really enjoyed playing this game while I have been trying to relax at the end of a long day, and I really think you'll enjoy it as well. You can download Lily's Garden from the link in my description box down below or using the QR code that is on the screen right now. Please consider downloading the game and trying it out as it really helps my channel grow. Thank you so much again to Lily's Garden for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's get to, let's get to. So first, let's just talk about Amber Lynn's most recent, I don't know, I guess her social media presence in general. Okay, because, well, one, the first thing that's happened is that she, well, the first first thing that's happened is that she hasn't really posted a lot of content in recent history <laughs> in the past week, which is interesting to me because, you know, when she first got to Oklahoma, she was very gung-ho on posting very consistently. And now it seems there's like a lull and I'm curious kind of like what's going on behind that. I, I feel like I could only, like if I was really gonna speculate, my only speculation would be that Mama Lynn is busy and Amber Lynn doesn't feel like she can come up with any creative content within the, the confines of like the four walls of her apartment. So that would be my speculation, but that is of course just speculation. I have nothing to base that on outside of most of the content in the Oklahoma era of her channel has been doing stuff with Mama Lynn. For what it's worth though, she did post a recent like picture on Instagram 
where she she claimed she was in her bingo era. Now that could have just been an old photo from one of the other bingo moments we already saw, or it could be from a more recent bingo event that she just didn't vlog. But it's worth noting that Amberlynn did post on her community tab on YouTube, I think literally just yesterday on on November 3rd, I'm filming this on the 4th. She posted, anything you want me to talk about in my upcoming video? And as I'm sure you can imagine, a lot of the comments are like, girl, why are we asking for questions for content and things like that? Like, do you not have the popsicle stick still? Have you not done 1200 of these? Don't you get tired of like picking over things? But I will say this post does have a lot more questions on it than the last time she tried to do this. She has a lot more questions this time that are, I think, interesting or questions about things she hasn't answered yet because it's specifically about her time in Oklahoma and things like that. My thoughts about this post just in general is that she just ended a video quite recently where she did ask for questions, I think on Instagram, and she included a lot of those questions in her video. But then at the end of that video, she said, here are four questions that people ask, but I'm not gonna answer in this video because I'm gonna answer them in a future video because I feel like they they need more time dedicated to them than what I can give in this vlog. And so my thoughts are, if you really are looking to answer some questions, let's start there. Little Lynn on the Prairie, okay? <laughs> let's just start there. But it seems that that Q&A post on her community tab post on her YouTube channel wasn't enough because Amberlynn had an adult premium beverage and got onto Instagram and posted a lot of things, honestly, but one of those things included a Q&A. And honestly, I don't have a lot to add about most of the Q&A. Like, she didn't answer a lot of stuff, and she answered them all via video, so I'm gonna show you the first few that I don't have anything to really add outside of, like, I just feel like you should see her <laughs> talking about these things, like, I don't know. I feel like it provides a lot of insight and I also, it makes me continue to wonder about the concept that she sits at home presumably by herself and has her buzz balls, her white claws, her whoever, whatever. So to answer everyone's question collectively, yes, this is Drunklin. What makes me feel most confident this filter, <laughs> I use it all the time, literally all the time. Okay, so based off of your question, the answer is no, because your girl can't drive. She don't have a license, so we don't do illegal things over here. Okay, I've tried to focus on this Q&A, <laughs> and it's not working out very well, so I love you guys. Was that a ghost? Or did they think my fingers was a person? Oh my god. Hey. I do have a little friend. <laughs> so that portion of the Q&A, yeah, wasn't super interesting. And in fact, actually, the interesting parts, I don't even think were technically a part of the Q&A because the, the interesting parts truly is, one, her giving a tutorial on how to eat sunflower seeds. So I'm eating sunflower seeds and sometimes I'll crack them like that and then eat them. And then other times, I just eat the whole damn thing. And the concept and thought of just like eating a fucking sunflower seed shell <laughs> really grosses me out. But maybe that's because I grew up in the, the rural Midwest and I just got so used to seeing all of like the, the redneck, <laughs> The redneck guys that I went to school with or that surrounded me a good chunk of my, my young adult life. I just got so used to seeing them like suck on these sunflower seeds and spit them into old Gatorade bottles and it just grosses me out. <laughs> the whole entire concept grosses me out as a concept. And then she also provided just a little bit of information about how she got ghosted and that's why she was in the situation she was in terms of of being at home under the influence of an adult premium beverage and talking to Instagram. Okay, so transparency why I'm eating my 
sunflower seeds. <laughs> I was ghosted tonight. Yes. My heart's broke. <laughs> yes. But you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> so yeah, that's all very curious to me. I'm, I'm curious also, like, who's ghosting her, right? Like, has she gotten onto the apps in Oklahoma and is trying to, to court a woman to come, come rescue her? Because we all know that she's a damsel in distress. Damsel in distress. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> that's a good one. Damsel in distress needs you to come put together a lamp for her. <laughs> come rescue her. I don't know. I feel like time will tell, or maybe time won't tell. This will just be another one of those things. Because I should also say, she dirty deleted. She dirty deleted the Instagram story about getting ghosted. And yeah, I, I do just want to thank the various friends of my channel. Because I had a couple people email me some clips. Clips. I had some people from the Twitch community help me out. And so thank you to everybody who contributed to Zach being able to put the pieces of this Instagram story together. I appreciate it. Because y'all know I'm also blocked. <laughs> I'm very blocked on the Instagram by her. Uh, so I appreciate y'all for, for assisting and helping me out. So the other thing we're going to talk about today is a social media content creator named Jamie French. And you might be wondering like, Zach, what's this about? But also a lot of you might not be wondering what this is about because a lot of you do in fact know who Jamie is because y'all have told me <laughs> about Jamie in the past. So as far as I know, Jamie is very popular here on YouTube. That's where I think I primarily know her from. I know she does also have a good following on TikTok as well because actually a long time ago she did a TikTok with these little hands where she like did a makeup tutorial thing where she where she tried to do her makeup with just using the little tiny hands that are finger puppets that go on your fingers and people sent it to me in the past like real life friends of mine have sent me it in the past because I have the same little little hands that, that I sometimes put on and apparently today I'm also learning that she's kind of got a big following on Facebook. So today while I was on Twitter I was scrolling and scrolling as I sometimes do <laughs> as I sometimes do when I'm avoiding responsibilities of my real life and I saw a post from a user named girlworld underscore br and it contained a screenshot uh, from Apathetic Facts who a lot of you probably know from here on YouTube and Apathetic Facts had said in that screenshot so there's lots of layers to this okay Apathetic Facts had taken a screenshot of a Facebook post from Jamie French and captioned it prepare for another massive influx of ambition babies girls. Jamie French has decided to do a very poorly researched video on your girl. And then they further credited somebody that they found it from on Instagram. Now when I say that y'all had told me about, <laughs> about Jamie in the past, Jamie has actually used my YouTube thumbnails in her videos twice that I know of at least, or at least that you've told me about. One of them was in a video where she talked about the 1,000 pound sisters. I literally cannot escape seeing Tammy Slayton's face every time I open up YouTube. And the other one, which honestly, truly, I never went and got the full context myself, to be honest with you, about like why my thumbnail. Uh, but I do know in a video that Jamie made about her own experience with Ozempic, she used, well, she talked about Amberlynn to my knowledge, and then she used a bunch of thumbnails from people who cover Amberlynn and we're talking about Amberlynn's choice to quit Ozempic. I keep thinking about Amberlynn Reed. She gets ripped apart on social media. I mean, 24 hours a day, somebody's making a video about her. I happened to catch some of her content when she was on Ozempic and it was giving her stomach problems and gallbladder problems and people didn't believe her and were like, oh, you're just using that as an excuse to go off of it. I believe her. It was no joke. Hello, very glamorous editing Zach here <laughs> to check back in. I originally, at this point in the video, I had originally filmed a whole thing about my friend who reached out to me after watching Jamie's video because she was a fan of Jamie, watches Jamie, does not watch my content, <laughs> doesn't actually know a whole lot about my content at all. And at the time, my friend was like, Zach, I, I have a lot of questions. Like, I don't, 
I don't understand why you don't believe Amber Lynn when it comes to Ozempic. I don't understand. Like, can you provide context for this? And I was very confused because I was like, I, I don't know that I cared one way or the other if Amber Lynn was on Ozempic, just that, like, her story never lines up is is the same whatever and up until I was editing this video I've never actually watched the part of Jamie's video that had me in it because I had started watching it I think maybe at one point trying to find it and I couldn't find the part about me and it seemed like it was mostly about Jamie's own experience with those epic which I think is great that she was sharing her experience and letting people know what that was like. And so I was just like, whatever, I don't really care what she had to say or how I was included. But whenever I went and saw this, I saw that she clearly included a clip of me and was trying to make it sound like I specifically was not believing Amber Lynn when she said she was experiencing awful things. But the clip that Jamie used in that video was me actually talking about how Amber Lynn said that her reason for quitting Ozempic was the rapid weight loss. And the only reason I consistently care about her quitting Ozempic because of the rapid weight loss is she was saying at the time that she lost like two pounds a week and that was too rapid and was causing gallstones or gallbladder stones. And I reference that from time to time now because she frequently loses like two pounds in a week or says she loses two pounds in a week. And I think a lot of us are like, well, why do you not care about the rapid weight loss now? Like, shouldn't you be concerned about how that might cause issues for your gallbladder, this, that, the other? And so I'll show you the clip where I wasn't saying that I didn't believe her reasons for quitting. I literally in that clip, I'm just saying that one of her reasons for quitting Ozempic was the rapid weight loss. So I just wanted to share that. Oh yeah, though, this is, this is also reminding me though, this is what she said was the reason that she had to quit Ozempic is because when they did one of the CT scans on her body during all of her recent CT scans, they said that they found sludge on her her gallbladder her pancreas one of those from rapid weight loss y'all know me when it comes to amberlynn's health like i just want the best for her and i just want her to like actually work with her team of doctors and not immediately contradict them in a week's time a month's time or however long it takes her to ultimately decide she's not gonna do what the the various medical professionals in her life tell her to do. So anyways, knowing all of that, I was intrigued. I was intrigued to see that Jamie was making a dedicated video to Amber Lynn. I was curious about going and maybe watching it. I don't watch a ton of people's content about Amber Lynn. In fact, I say frequently over here, I don't even like to watch other reaction channels. Amberlynn content on its own, like watching it for the first time through me, <laughs> like is enough for me. Like I'm not trying to watch the things that Amberlynn does on her channel 1200 times, right? But I was curious because, because like I said, she'd previously used my thumbnails and I kind of have just been waiting for her to have a take on Amberlynn since it seemed like she was aware of Amberlynn's existence on the internet. The problem is, is that I assumed that this was on her YouTube channel, which it's not. It's not a community post on her YouTube channel. It's not a video on her YouTube channel. It's not even a short on her YouTube channel. It's nothing on her YouTube channel whatsoever. So then I went back and looked at the screenshot again and realized that the like interface looked like it came from Facebook. And I'm like, are we really out here using Facebook for this kind of content? Like, I don't, I don't know about y'all, but like, I almost never use Facebook. In fact, the only time I use Facebook is once a day. I love to log on just to see my memories from previous years. I like to see the old things that I was doing in past years. And outside of that, I don't really use it at all, <laughs> ever. So I did end up finding it on her actual Facebook page. It was uh, a post that she made from the time that I'm filming this about a day ago. And it's interesting because it has the caption, can't believe people dislike her so much. And then it's a, like the thumbnail for the video is Amberlynn with spaghetti in her mouth. The, the thumbnail has a caption that says, why do people not like her? So <laughs> I've got a lot of questions. I did click on the video because at the time I was like, I probably won't make a video about this. And then I clicked on it and I started watching it and I was like, I have some thoughts about this. And some of them I think 
Well, I don't know. I have to watch the whole thing in its entirety. But what I will say is that with what she presented in like the first minute or two that I watched, I get where she's coming from if that's all you know about Amber Lynn, right? <laughs> and I think that's the issue I'm probably going to take with this video is that she presents information as being like she presents like some specific small things that feel nitpicky that people would be upset about and be like what why are those things the things that people hate about Amber Lynn that doesn't seem fair and that's my issue but we're just gonna react to it <laughs> we're just gonna do a reaction here on the channel and go from there how does that sound? The video itself, I think, is only like eight minutes, so it shouldn't take us too long. So let's get to, let's get to. Amberlynn Reed is quite possibly like the most bullied person I have ever seen in the history of social media. Entire YouTube channels exist just to like compile things she does, says, eats, people don't like her. I know it's a quick pause, but that did just make me also remember that I think the other thing I have to say about this is almost none of this is reacting to like Amberlynn's content from the source, which is fine, I guess, but it's also specifically reacting to content from the compilation channels that she's just talking about. Or at least that's what I'm perceiving, because if you watch her, she's gonna basically pull up an Amberlynn Reed video of her like counting calories or eating or things like that and comment on that. So of course, in that situation, you're you're reacting to a video that's focused on compiling some of like her weird quirky behaviors, right? Just so that we're on the same page. She spends her money, people don't like how she tries on clothes, people don't like how she pronounces words. Mukbangs, mukbangs, mukbangs. And mukbangs. Mukbangs? What was I saying? Mukbangs. We ordered sushi. <laughs> I got some edamame, which uh -huh. I need to add some salt to, so I'm gonna use this Himalayan moment. Oh yeah, that's something people don't like is that she says moment a lot. That's a little moment a little leopard moment weird thing i i um okay so she's here saying weird thing to be upset about so <laughs> i i was watching this and i was like well i don't know that like people think that that's the end of the world right like i don't th i think people might find it to be annoying or or like quirky <laughs> but i don't know and and maybe that's just me speaking from my own experience right because i think personally a lot of the things that Amberlynn says i find to be fascinating or funny or interesting which i honestly think is the point of the the compilation videos that compile all the clips of like the weird way she says things right it's not saying like Amberlynn's a horrible person because she says words funny i don't think that that's necessarily the case right i don't know i mean i think if that were the case that a lot of us would be in hot water because a lot of us say things wrong or, or use the wrong word or have like little annoying things that we say a lot. Be upset about. Just this like crab mixture. Okay, sushi looks pretty normal, looks pretty harmless. These are like tempura, crab, and tofu. You lost me at tofu. Oh, uh, I, I like to tofu. Right <laughs> Just a cup of noodles because I am hungry. Obviously, why else would somebody eat? We all know the answer to that. So this is $2.90 for this cup of noodle. I'm just adding the ton of pepper that I just got on my stove. Does anybody just eat the cup of noodles as it is? I feel like everybody that I know, doctors... I don't like cup of noodles. To answer her question, I don't like cup of noodles. I, pref I do like, like, instant ramen and stuff like that, but I've always thought that the cup of noodle is gross, in my opinion. No offense to people that do like it. It's just not for me. But also, this is also what I find interesting right here, too, is like, which, like, I guess this is a very Zachary Michael thing to do as well. But uh, she does speak from, like, her own experience. And I think maybe in some of these cases, the reason that she is questioning some of these things is, like, a lot of this stuff is stuff that resonates with her. Which, again, none of the stuff that she's, at least from what I've seen so far, reacted to are bad. And I would agree with her on that front. I'm just liking how it comes. I don't know. <laughs> it looks so unappetizing, but I know it's... 
Next level good. I don't know about next <laughs> level bestie. She cooks gross stuff and then she cooks slop so far. Well, because she does. Because <laughs> she does. I can point you in the direction if you need some examples. This is all just takeout. I got a mac and cheese, which is like 450 calories. Counting calories. It's just so inconvenient. I do it all the time, so I relate, but hearing somebody else do it, I'm like, stop. Just use your judgment. <laughs> Currently, I just have it logged for 45 calories. I, I do also find it interesting that she has a, an opinion on that as well, because I personally, I mean, my, my whole thing with anything related to Amberlynn dieting quite honestly, truly, it's just like, I just wish she would stick to something or not talk about it at all, you know? I think I've been pretty consistent in that over time. Maybe not when I first started. <laughs> when I first started, I think I was a lot more naive about stuff, but in recent history, I've kind of just been like, all right, like, pick the thing and stick with it or don't talk about it. Especially because when Amberlynn's not talking about it, it seems like she's more successful. My umpties for it. I had a cup of noodle, which is 290 calories. I think this is around the time yeah. I stopped and watching. I had a whole bag of these. See, and I know, I guarantee if I scroll down to these comments, people are probably roasting her for eating a whole bag of lentil chips. But I know people that could put away two bags of sure, the first Sure, sure. I love sharing food, said the girl with the most food aggression I've ever witnessed in a human being. Oh yeah, there's like entire compilations of her, people saying that she has food aggression. Uh -huh. I don't even really know what that is. When I think of food aggression, I think of my dog who would like, <laughs> if another dog walked by his food oh. bowl. I've never witnessed her acting like that, but people are mad. All oh, oh, okay, all right. <laughs> okay, because I was about to say like, like she, so she's aware, she's aware that people have this conversation about her having food aggression and she's like, but I've, I've never seen it. I, I've never, I've never seen it. But people, but people are bad. Well, girl, girl, you just said there were entire compilations. Why don't you go click on it? Why, why don't you just go click on it then? You know, like I, I, I think that that's going to be my problem with this, this whole thing. It's just that like, she's presenting a small sample of what Amberlynn's content is. And certainly there are people that probably are way too upset about some of these things. And certainly there are people that probably, you know, have have way too much of an issue with this. But it's like a small, like small sample <laughs> of Amberlynn's content. Just the tip of the iceberg, really, when you go down the rabbit hole that is things that Amberlynn has done on her channel that have been scandalous in the past. These comments are from people just like mocking her for saying she likes to share food. Gosh, every single comment is negative and mean. I love sandwiches like this and the olives. I feel like if you like olives, don't get mayonnaise. <laughs> the olives kind of give that like kick you need. Hmm. That's an interesting tip. <laughs> <laughs> that is an interesting tip. That is an interesting tip. I feel that. <laughs> that That is really funny to me as a concept. <laughs> oh, so messy. Mm. Something I noticed about Subway though is that the onion, sometimes it's like, super flavorful. And then other times you can tell it's been sitting out for a while. So it doesn't have as much flavor. Yeah, so if you soak onions in water, which Subway soaks everything in water, I'm surprised they don't soak their bread in water. Oh! But soaking onions in water, I think makes them a little bit more mild, so. Gross. And then you get a nice drizzle of onion water on your sandwich. Hey guys, so <laughs> Wait, wait, things I didn't know. Things I didn't realize I was gonna get is like these these fun tips and tricks about <laughs> about onions and fast food at the subway. It is time for another mukbang and we're gonna be doing a spaghetti. She says mukbang the way you guys don't like people to say mukbang. Mukbang from last night. I'm yeah. so jealous of this spaghetti right now. We got all our Christmas shopping done. Which I, I am also fascinated <laughs> because in, in my search for for this video that I thought was on YouTube, I saw a a video from Jamie about like mukbangs. In particular, I think 
at least at a minimum, it had Hungry Fat Chick in the thumbnail. And it seemed, again, I didn't click on the video. This is me being Jamie right now, okay? <laughs> this is me being Jamie. I didn't click on the video, so I don't know what it's about. But the, the way that it was titled made me think that she was concerned about the mukbang industry on, on the YouTubies. But either way, even if that wasn't her point, she's choosing to focus on this video about how people have an issue with the way that Amberlynn says mukbang, right? But the, the thing is, is that when it comes to the mukbangs, especially in this era, because this is back when she lived with Beck, Eric, and Ricky, in this era, she was doing mukbangs literally to troll and piss people off. This is the same, the same apartment place that she did the fucking half of a rotisserie chicken or whole rotisserie chicken. It's the same apartment where she did the fucking ring of shrimp. Okay, so she people were mad about her doing mukbangs because she was uh, like putting them in there, uh, weaving them in with her diet content on YouTube and trying to act like like she could be this like healthy super queen and also do all of these mukbangs for the YouTubies. I'm so happy about there is no more worrying. Christmas shopping gives me anxiety. Yeah, and people think I'm weird for not celebrating Christmas, and yet everybody who celebrates says the same thing, that it gives them horrible anxiety and is Ooh. extremely uh, costly. Uh, <laughs> so you're the weird one. Also, what? though, I don't believe that that Christmas gives Amber Lynn anxiety. She gets a fucking rush of dopamine with every fucking present she buys for a person. So miss me with this idea that Amber Lynn, the, the girl who gifted... <laughs> Destiny 26 gifts to try to win her love. Girl, miss me with the idea that that gives Amberlynn Reed any kind of anxiety. Thing to do if I go out to eat, um, ordering what I want, but not eating the whole thing. Normally I would. That's hard to do. By doing this, makes it to where I don't eat as much. Especially with carbs, it's hard to do. It's been working for me. If you're the type of person who is worried about their weight, hold on. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> I, remember, I remember this. I remember this. Her drinking the big ass gallons of water. I remember this so well. This is before where I've like tried to drink a gallon of water a day and I've had a whole jug. You just don't realize how ridiculous <laughs> okay. you look holding a huge gallon <laughs> That's good. She's staying hydrated. Um, see, see, and this this is like where I can get on board with Jamie because the way she reacted to that is the way that I react to a lot of Amberlynn's content. I, I think truly, I mean, outside of like, you know, the way she's treated her past partners, the way she's um, not taking great care of her pets in the past, outside of like, I don't know, the myriad <laughs> of things Amberlynn has done on her channel. Like, so much of her content outside of that stuff is pretty harmless and kind of just goofy. Like, the concept of sitting here watching her drink out of this plastic gallon jug of water, it just, it just looks kind of goofy. And sometimes it's okay to just laugh at that. I'm going to see a nutritionist, and I actually saw one when I was 16, and I only went to three meetings. I remember this vividly. And one of the things that she did tell me, <laughs> two little weird mindful tricks was cut all your food in half and eat on a blue plate. I'm like, what? Girl. <laughs> what? <laughs> what will they come up with next? I know she exactly. the color blue. Makes you eat less. Who knows? But um, it's been working for me. I'm not- Girl, you're not, <laughs> you're not even eating on a blue plate right now. It's been working for me. Where's the blue plate, sis? <laughs> anyway. Um, but that plate's not blue. Ex exactly. Like Snapchat, where I'm see, like, hey, I'm out to eat. See, I think, I think deep down, Jamie does get it. Well, I, that's also to say, I guess the whole premise of her question doesn't even apply to me because I would never use the word hate to describe how I feel about Amberlynn, to be honest with you. So you know, I do, I do think that that is a difference. <laughs> so maybe this is not directed specifically at me. But I think that's the stuff that a lot of people enjoy, or at least the people that watch my channel. Or just like showing me how to eat. People are freaking out. If you eat, people will freak out. That is true. About the internet. That's hey guys. true. Okay, so we're gonna do a mukbang. I'll be eating this board game. I'm just kidding. <laughs> 
That was actually pretty funny. Sure. <laughs> sure. So, sure, Jamie. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to be eating. We prefer to call Burger King Sheboygan King. Who's we? Very big at Sheboygan. Because the only way that you're allowed to say the word burger is Sheboygan. You're welcome. I don't, I I don't know that soda. reference. I, I never <laughs> go back to regular after getting a bit as a teenager. I Listen, Jamie is me. I am Jamie. I fucking love diet sodies. Y'all know this. It's my obsession. I, I will never give. I don't want to say never. If a doctor told me to give up diet sodi, I would certainly take it into consideration. But until then, I'll be drinking my diet sodi. So good. We have our cheesy tots. It comes with eight of them. Those don't look like tots. Comes with eight little buggers, rot layer. They look like hush puppies. And then we have a spicy sandwich. So I, no, I can't do it. <laughs> I can't do raw tomato. Same. Hate it. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited. I'm like ready. I'm hungry. Making me hungry, jeez. You know, whoever like made this compilation and referred to this as Amberlynn Reed's most iconic mukbangs, I don't agree. What is <laughs> iconic about this? She's just eating as a normal person would eat. This is like something that my <laughs> sister <laughs> probably eats on a daily basis. Now, so, so I was just gonna, I was just gonna, um, gonna say like, you know, this this started off and she she made like a few really specific points, I feel like, at the beginning of this, where she was like, oh, like people don't like Amberlynn because of the way she pronounces words, how she spends her money, um, the way the way that she eats and what she eats. And the 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 last like couple minutes of this have been seemingly just like her showing some pretty innocent mukbangs that that like don't really tell you a lot about who Amberlynn is or isn't and like I said she's also taking this as she just pointed out herself from like a compilation video right and it seems like she was pretty selective or maybe not selective maybe it just so happens that the the compilation videos that she picked about Amberlynn were pretty innocent comments for my newest video which I know is gonna be harsh don't do it don't do it, girl. I mean, I, have grown to have I mean, Jamie really is me. <laughs> Jamie really is me because that's also, you know, my my general like advice to Amberland. Granted, it usually comes when she's posting a lot of content that is surrounding like the negativity that that is in her comments, in her DMs, whoever, whatever. Because sometimes Amberlynn, you know, she just gets deep in that hole of, like, responding to every single negative thing that's out there about herself. And so Jamie and I are on the same page. Just don't do it. <laughs> don't do it. Uh, that's the same. Just because I will put this out there because people have been like, Zach, why do you address negative comments? I thought that you said that, you know, Amber Amberlynn shouldn't address negative comments. Why do you do that? Well, I, I don't know that it's necessarily me addressing negative comments specifically. It's me, like, engaging with ways that I either do or do not want to do better based on those things. Like, a lot of times I choose to address comments because I think even the negative comments can sometimes make a good point, or maybe I think it's important to uh, clarify points because the negative comments are very different <laughs> than what I was trying to say or, like, clearly like didn't hear what I was trying to say or misunderstood what I was trying to say. And so in those cases, I think that that's fine. And I certainly try not to do it in every video. But Jamie and I, we're right here together. Don't don't read them. Don't do it. Of skin, let me tell you. No, she has it. Sometimes it's penetrable. She, and, and she I just, the comments she gets are, oh, they're so hurtful. They hurt me. They give me secondhand hurt. The last video well, to be to be clear, at least with what you've showed in this video, Jamie, you've showed comments on other people's video compilations of her, not comments actually from her channel. And that's not to say that's not to say that she doesn't get bad comments on her her actual YouTube channel. Because like I've said many times, she does. But she also does get good ones there. <laughs> Just to be clear. Bow, <laughs> 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 <laughs>
What did was the spaghetti mukbang. Oh, we just watched that. <laughs> that just went up today, a few hours ago. So first comment I see is from Madison Mukbang, and she says, "Stop it, get some help." Wait, as in the "Stop it, get some help" meme from Michael Jordan that I use? Stop it, get some help. I think oh. this girl meant it. <laughs> I'm unfamiliar. It's just funny that I. <laughs> I use that me all the time. Someone quoted her saying, if you get olives, don't get mayonnaise because olives give you the kick you need. What the F does that even mean? Exactly. Why is that? Why are you so angry? Well, first of all, with the tone that you read it in, <laughs> the tone that you read it in, I didn't get angry from that at all. I think it's a fair question to ask what that means. You yourself, sh should we rewind back to where you're like, Hmm, that's an interesting tip because it doesn't make any sense, Jamie. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Gosh, you know what ticks me off? I feel like if huh? Logan Paul what? said that in a video, people would be like, yes, Logan, well, you Well, that's an issue. <laughs> people will find anything to get mad at her. Her lack of chewing is what gets me. She chewed. The way she ate that cheesy mm. top and went cross-eyed in excitement, that is the true definition of disturbing. <sighs> and isn't that funny, the Virgo 3866, that you don't have a profile picture. You guys are mean. I, I do think that's funny. Y'all hiding behind them. <laughs> them. Them accounts with no profile pictures will say the meanest, nastiest shit about the way somebody looks on the internet. You will say the meanest, nastiest shit. I do agree with that. I, I do, again, think that... Uh, she's specifically finding a lot of like mean, nasty comments because these are on these compilation videos that she claims are out here just to hate on Amber Lynn. So, so yeah, if that's your claim, then you're also gonna go find all of these mean comments about her. You know what I see? I see someone who has an underlying sure. condition. It could be physical, you know, but I think it is emotional slash mental. Even though sure. someone puts themselves on the internet, to me it doesn't mean that they're asking to just be relentlessly bullied and just keep in mind that everybody is the way they are because of one reason or another. I know that she has had a very, very rough childhood sure. and a very traumatic sure. past, and oftentimes that can lead to people struggling with obesity. Sure. And ultimately, comments like this and constant people making all this content about her is not helping her. I say the same thing to the people who harass me about my weight. You aren't making me skinny. Sure. You know what I Well, you, you know what I'll say? <laughs> you know what I'll say? Outside of the stuff about, about like what she's eating specifically, right? Like, a lot of the stuff you pointed out about her in this video have nothing to do about her weight. How she says stuff, for instance, has has nothing to do with her weight. And people people do like to, to talk about it. I, I have commented on it before, for sure. I find it fascinating and interesting, usually. <laughs> but, but yeah, that has nothing to do with her weight. How she spends her money, which you haven't shown anything yet in this particular video. But how she spends her money has nothing to do with her weight either. And you cited that as something that people don't like about her. So I think that that is like the context that some of this is missing. Certainly, I am in agreement. I agree that like when people say shitty things to Amber Lynn about her weight, about the things that she eats, about the way that she looks, whatever it might be, none of those things are helping Amber Lynn overcome any of the issues surrounding her weight and how she feels about herself. 100% agree. But this video <laughs> lacks the context. And, and I, listen, I don't expect Jamie French or anybody who's like a newcomer to Amber Lynn Reed to know all the things in the world that there are to know about Amber Lynn Reed, to have the complete thorough understanding. I mean, half the time I forget shit that happened <laughs> in Amber Lynn Reed's channel in her life and things like that. But to present this specifically and be like, why is everybody hating on Amber Lynn? And asking the question earnestly and, and wanting to know why people like her, but not taking a deep dive into anything else. Like, this is a woman who does do deep dive, like, stuff on her channel. Like, a lot of her videos, or at least the ones that I have watched 
tend to be her like going through like a part of the internet or I, I she does a lot of like m bad movie reviews. So like she's used to spending some time with some material before she makes content about it. And it feels like to me, this was like, I'm going to go click on a few compilation videos about Amberlynn Reed and then market it as, why is everybody so mad at Amberlynn Reed? You be productive. Oh, well, <laughs> that seems to have been it. <laughs> that seems to have been all she wrote, folks. So, yeah, I, I just think that that is interesting because I don't even disagree with most of the stuff she said. I do think, uh, you know, I'm somebody who's been criticized for being too nitpicky of Amberlynn. And I think that's often because people, you know, at least when it comes to me specifically, I can't talk about any of the people who might have made these compilation videos or were in those comment sections that she read. But when it comes to me and I'm like talking about something that feels very little, like I very rarely am using that to be like, Amber Lynn's an awful person and you all should hate her for the way she says pictures. You know, like that's that's never my goal. But anyways, I did notice that Jamie, in fact, um, on a lot of her videos on Facebook, she usually pins a comment to like try to get some engagement happening. So she did present a, a question on this video and she said, someone tell me why people dislike her so much. What do you think about her videos? And the first one is, that I want to point out before I like go into the other comments is one that she actually did respond to. Somebody said, it could be the false essay claims against her ex or the way she financially and verbally abuses all her partners. Maybe the way she lies and manipulates her audience. Maybe the neglect of her pets. She is not a good person and people's dislike of her has virtually nothing to do with her weight. Please do more research before you take a side. And Jamie responded to that and said, LOL, I've heard it all, but I don't personally believe we can really know someone because we see them make YouTube videos. Even if some of the accusations were true, nitpicking and berating someone for how they eat or how they pronounce words will not help them be a better person. And <laughs> that, that particular response is really fascinating to me. And I agree that we can't really know everything there is to know about Amberlynn because we only know what we know about her from YouTube. And almost all of the things that the original commenter said are things that we know about Amberlynn because she put them on YouTube or in the cases of things like her exes and stuff like that. Like Destiny just got done coming out with all of this messed up shit that Amberlynn did to her this past summer, right? Like we know that because that stuff has been put onto YouTube. I generally, again, agree with the second part of her comment there that like, you know, nitpicking her for how she eats or how she pronounces words isn't gonna help her be a better person, for sure. I, I find those things to be entertaining, the way that she eats, the things that she eats, the, the slop recipes she makes, I find those things to be entertaining more than anything. But I agree that, like, it's not going to help her be a better person. And I don't know that my reactions over here these days are designed to help Amberlynn Reed be a better person. Sometimes I feel like I try to give her advice on how to be a better YouTuber <laughs> because I think she could use it. But I'm very also aware that she's not taking any of my advice. So that's that's not the goal here. Anyways, there were a lot of other comments that I thought were interesting. Like somebody said, the only reason I can see is because she's a larger woman and she has the audacity to exist and enjoy things, how dare she? And I also, again, think that's really interesting because I think if you had no context for who Amber Lynn was and you only watched Jamie's video about it, you might get that impression that it's like, oh, people just hate this fat woman. There was one person who said, all I see is a sweet and delightful woman, God damn it! I appreciate you for calling out bullies. And then they edited their post to say, thank you to everyone for sharing more info. So some of that info included, I see you have a cat. This person mistreated her cat. And then a follow up, she has a history with animals that isn't good. She left her dog at home crying and shaking in pain, her words, and didn't take them to an after hours vet. Instead, she went out to eat with friends and filmed it. Another person said she literally abused her ex-partner into a depression by her ex's own word. She's caused so much emotional trauma, her ex can't be in relationships anymore. And that, of course, is referring to Beck. 
So outside of that, there's generally a mixture. It's like there's some people that are on there trying to say like, girl, you need to do more research. And there's other people that are saying like, yeah, I don't understand why somebody would be like that. I love that you show compassion. There's actually a lot of people that are like, I love that you show compassion. I love you and your positivity. I agree I didn't see any reason to get so bent out of shape about those videos. I love that you always have so much empathy towards people. So <laughs> it's a mixed bag over there, but it seems like mostly the people are just not aware of who Eberlin is. And that's, again, fine, but I think like, for Jamie to use her platform and, and present it as like, these are the only things that people don't like about her is a little disingenuous. Like certainly there are people out there who don't like her for those things, but I think most people who feel very strongly about Amberlynn as a person don't feel that way. I don't know, you let me know what you all think <laughs> about Jamie's video. I know a lot of people really like Jamie's content and I think it can be really difficult for folks who are not in this corner of the internet to know as much as we know. So I'm willing to give her some level of leniency. Like I think all the points she made were fair. I just think that she's leaving out context, right? And and maybe her intention was never to do like a full Amberlynn deep dive that some people are aware of or some people in this corner of the internet are used to people doing. You know what I'm saying? So that's my overall thoughts, but you let me know down below. Anyways, that's all I have time for today. I just wanna say thank you once again to Lily's Garden for sponsoring today's video. Make sure to use the QR code on the screen or the link in my description box down below to download the game. It surely helps my channel. Also, if you're brand new here, consider subscribing down below. Hit the bell button so you get a notification every single time I post a new video. Make sure to leave me a comment, hit like, click share, and follow me on all my social media. I love you all so much, and I'll see you all next time. Bye!